This is Dr. Meyer in Sacramento, California. Today I'd like to talk to you about allergic diseases. We've talked about some of these allergies before and how they interconnect with each other, but today I'd like to bring them together in a little closer range so they become more uh, understanding to the average person. Um, in our practice we see lots of allergies, basically nasal allergies, and uh, uh, this is when you're allergic to the trees, grass, weeds, house dust, and other pollens, but also uh, animal danders, and um, uh, they occur within the seasons when these occur. Uh, springtime is tree pollens, the summer is grass, and fall is uh, uh, ragweed and uh, other weeds. Uh, when I ran the allergy clinic out at Mather Air Force Base, it was very interesting because I come from the Midwest. We had lots of ragweed hay fever, ragweed asthma, and coming to California, we had none. But we have so much foliage here, there's all kinds of pollen, and so the quantity of uh, allergens uh, increased, And uh, but it had a different format. People that had ragweed hay fever in the Midwest came here and had were very clear, uh, and uh, people that... Uh, had no problems in the Midwest, came here and over a period of several years developed uh, uh, allergies, nasal allergies and so on. And um, so um, the um, uh, allergy goes down into the bronchial tubes and went from allergic rhinitis then we have allergic uh, bronchitis. And this is a very common symptom that uh, indicates that uh, asthma may be coming shortly. Um, people with allergic rhinitis, allergic bronchitis, and allergic asthma. And that's why we screen people that have a, a dry, non-productive cough that may be seasonal, or people with just uh, allergies such as hay fever, and do a pulmonary function screen on these. This is much better than where the uh, maybe lung association goes out and tries to screen uh, 100 people off the street, because maybe two-thirds or three-fourths of these will have underlying asthma. And that's when you can do the most good for people who are, will be developing asthma before they get obstructed and become short of breath and constant wheezing and eventually leading to um, uh, pulmonary cripples. Um, and so at, uh, these symptoms then can be seasonal if they're the pollens uh, or the, the allergic rhinitis or allergic bronchitis or allergic asthma. Or they can be perennial if this house dust, molds, and all the other things, animal dandruffs are also included. And so you have seasonal and uh, perennial um, hay fever, asthma, and bronchitis. Um, another al allergic problem is urticaria or hives. Uh, this is also a very allergic uh, situation. And if you have hives, then you frequently have asthma with it. And it can be very serious. And you can have... Um, um, anaphylaxis, uh, where you go into spasm and your bronchial tubes go tight spasm and uh, cut off your air. It can be life-threatening and people that have this should uh, have an epinephrine injection available, the EpiPen they can stick into their muscles and relieve it, and Benadryl, antihistamines, or steroids. And people who've had uh, this frequently then uh, will have some of these things at home and uh, if you have a frequent you should ask your doctor to have a supply of Benadryl and steroids and uh, so at home. Eczema is another skin problem that's allergic and uh, can cause intense itching. This is primarily in uh, younger people and uh, it's a rash in the flexural portions of your hands and under your uh, knees. And uh, this is usually uh, very self-limiting but it can also be re related to certain uh, food allergies. Uh, there is also another type of asthma called aspirin sensitive asthma. People who are highly allergic to aspirin can develop a sudden uh, constriction of the bronchial tubes and trachea and airways. And um, this goes over into the other products that are similar called non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs. And so if you're allergic to uh, aspirin, you may be allergic to Motrin and Naproxen and these others except for maybe uh, Tylenol, which would be the safe uh, pain pill to take. Um, and uh, this will also require an epinephrine injection and uh, taking Benadryl and steroids right after that. Um, going a little bit further afield into the skin uh, problems, atopic dermatitis or allergic dermatitis, 
um, is a common thing, and contact dermatitis. Some people can be so allergic to things that just contact with them will cause a rash. And one of the more common contact dermatitis is uh, poison ivy and poison oak and uh, other things that you are in contact with. Um, so be sure to subscribe to our uh, channel and until next time, this is Del Myers saying take care.